Cuius corpus antissimum, in ara crucis torridum. Protect ye pasca vespero, ad eva sante angelo. De faraonis aspero, Sumus erept imperio. Well, I was making beeswax furniture polish, which sold quite well, um, and I was bragging about it to a friend of mine, and she suggested that I might want to try using the beeswax to make a beeswax lip balm, um, which I had never heard of. I was quite freaked out by the idea that somebody would use beeswax for other than polishing a floor. But sure enough, I started flicking through um, some cosmetic recipe books and some beekeeping magazines, and I found that there was such a thing as beeswax lip balm, and from there I developed my own formula with to the right consistency and then decided to spruce it up with some essential oils and to give it different flavours. From there it was born really, after having tested it on the Brethren and, and a few other people, it went out onto the open market. Well, a lot of people buy it quite sceptically. A lot of people think, I'll buy it, but it's going to be awful, and I'll probably just stick a wick in it and use it as a candle, because that was my former occupation. But after people try it, um, I get a lot of positive feedback, and the majority of people locally certainly have reordered um, people are almost addicted to it, so it probably should come with some sort of warning. But um. My initial thought was I was very positive and I encouraged him um, and he was keen to do this, um, but I insisted from the beginning that we, um, that we should be as professional as possible in the way we, that we package the product. Um, I didn't want any labels running off on a, an inkjet um, printer because um, if we were going to um, sell these products and market them um, I felt that the reputation of the monastery um, was at stake so I insisted that we do this properly if he wanted to do it we had to do it properly but at the moment I'm enjoying just seeing how it goes and if people want to buy it all the better trips and grabs I mean 
when I was on the BBC, I had 30 orders in a week. Retail, which were, which were nice. I suppose some people could think it was a bit quirky. I mean, be, because it's got a, a sort of medicinal or, or health-giving benefit to it in the sense that it will moisturise chapped lips or dried hands or whatever, I think it's because it's a therapeutic thing, I don't see it as being quirky. If it were mascara or lipstick or, I don't know, beeswax, leg waxing strips, then I could see that it would be a bit quirky. But to me it seems quite normal, quite a rational um, process. Thank <laughs> you.